Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we will uh, set up the attack uh, animations, and if good, we will uh, cover the uh, damage part also in this video, or else in the next part. So we will see. So I already downloaded two attack uh, animations from Mixamo. This is how it looks. So these attack animation I just wanted to uh, keep it in the upper upper body. So we'll just make uh, some changes to the anim graph. So after this default slot we will catch this post. Name it as base post. And from base post. We will add a slot. Go to anim slot manager, add a slot for upper body. Add that slot here. Select upper body here and uh, cache this pose again. So, this will have our uh, upper body animation body now we have to mix these both and uh, send it as an output post so that base we get the base post and upper body and we have to do a layer uh, blend for phone um, set the blend weight to one And uh, here we have to add uh, uh, from which bone we have to use this uh, uh, upper body animation for that. Click on add here, open this. Uh, I am using the pelvis bone and length depth is 5. So, the reason for uh, using uh, the pelvis bone is so. This is our pelvis bone. So above this will be from our attack animation and the below this will be from our uh, base post. And the reason for uh, giving it as 5 here is we want both to take part. Okay, so this is done. And uh, now uh, we have to uh, identify two things. Whether the zombie character is near the player or not. That's one thing. And uh, we have to add a anim notify on this to add the damage. So first we will take care of the tracer part. And uh, we will see whether the zombie character is near the player. And so that it can uh, start attacking. So on the zombie character base, uh, come to the tracer. We already have a sequence here. On the second uh, part. So this can be done on two ways. You can just get uh, the actor's location and compare it with zombie's location and you can decide whether to attack or not. But I am going with sphere uh, trace uh, by channel. I felt this is, this is uh, a better way and uh, uh, more accurate way because uh, if we used, if we just used uh, 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 active location to determine whether it is near the zombie, uh, there are chances that if you are trying to de do a still kill and uh, the zombie uh, uh, will start attacking uh, the player uh, because we are just comparing the uh, location of uh, both actors. So tracing it will be a bit more accurate, but again, it's a personal choice.
okay this should be fine i'll set this to one frame and i'll disable the draw debug here and once we have a positive hit we will make sure that it is our uh, player character add one more branch <coughs> so we have to run this logic only uh, if the character is uh, a player and uh, we'll add a variable here uh, players uh, i think i've already created that so let me remove it this is this this false this is also false Near player, and if it is true, we have to do one more check. Vector minus vector to get the uh, uh, difference between actor. Uh, Okay, this zombie location and the actor location. Actor here is our player character. Get the vector length. And if it is less than 80. Again this value with the addition I am keeping it as 80. And if it is true I will set near player. Okay. So this should be fine and we have to put some logic on uh, uh, for it to start attack, attacking for that we will create one more uh, custom event name it as attack player okay. so create one more variable attacking so this to this is to avoid uh, keep attacking player or keep uh, uh, spamming animations when one is already running so this will be called only if it is not attacking already attacking to true and then get the mesh component and uh, play our montage and promote this to variable name it as attack montage and this attack montage we will uh, add couple of mo uh, montages and let uh, let the engine decide on which one to run with a random so click here and set it to array change the variable type so once this is done you will be able to uh, add more montages here so as of now as you know we have just two uh, attack montages so I am adding both ok I didn't create the montage of the shit so I am creating it create anime montage and we have to sele select the slot as upper body so that only the upper body uh, animations take place ok this is fine on the character uh, base uh, ok now we are able to see add both the montages here and from here get a random and plug it in here 
So from this array, it will pick up a random montage and uh, start uh, playing it. And after the montage is completed, if it if it is still near the player, then we will sit attacking to false so that it can uh, uh, it can pick up the next animation to play. And if it is false, give a delay factor. That is if the player runs away, so delay factor here and then uh, switch it to attack into call. So once the uh, animation montage is triggered, uh, it will play and once the montage is completed, if the, if the zombie character is near the player, it will, okay, this we have to set it to false. And if it is, uh, it is not near the player, after the delay, it will set attack into false. Okay. Now we have to call this attack player on uh, event graph. So here we will add a branch. If it is true, we will attack the player. Okay, let's test this. Okay, I I think I didn't set the trace, so trace channel, uh, sorry, the trace uh, radius. Okay, set this to third, so that it's big enough to uh, identify the player. Okay, 30 seems to be too big. Okay, it's attacking now. Okay, it's picking the random animation. Now, when we run, uh, earlier we had a, a bit of spiking. So, that is not there now. So, if it is near the player, it will start attacking. Okay. So, this looks fine. Only thing is, we, we can reduce the sphere size. We don't need this big. So, I'll set this to 20. Okay, 20 seems to be fine. Now, we have, if we want, we can reduce this to 15. Yeah, so this is fine. Okay, the damage part we will see in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.